Welcome to a presentation about the Civil War and art. I wish I could show you a lot of art that had to do with the Civil War, but it would take all day. So we're just going to look at one picture today. This looks like a photograph, doesn't it? What do you think? Is it a photograph? Actually, it is not. It's a painting by George Cope, who was an American artist. He was born in 1855 and died in 1929. The title of this painting is Civil War Regalia of Major Levi Gein Macaulay. It was painted in 1887 using oil paint on canvas. It's about 50 inches by 46 and a half, and it's down at the Art Institute of Chicago if you'd like to go see it. What is regalia? Regalia are the things associated with the uniform of a soldier. Badges, swords, belts, and decorations of all kinds. What things do you see in this picture that belong to a soldier? Levi Gein Macaulay was a decorated Civil War veteran. That means he received medals. What do you notice about the artist's composition? Do you notice how balanced everything in the painting is? Each thing on the left has some sort of match on the right. Sometimes this is not an exact match, but more of a visual match. For example, if you look at the canteen towards the bottom, it's over to the left just slightly, and it's balanced by its own shadow. Do you see Macaulay's two cross swords? A foot officer's sword is on the left, and a cavalry saber is on the right. Above them, you can see where Cope painted Macaulay's hat, which is embroidered with the 7th Pennsylvania Regiment insignia and the 5th Army Corps badge, the Maltese Cross. Macaulay's leather belt and revolver holster dangle below, and these are anchored by the canteen marked with the number 7. Cope wrapped a tasseled purple sash around these objects to unify his arrangement. Two cherished post-war medals from the Grand Army of the Republic and Military Order of the Loyal Legion of the United States take a place of pride at the top of the painting. These military artifacts function as a kind of portrait of Macaulay. What about the artist's technique? Doesn't the picture look like a photograph? What did Cope do to create that effect? Cope uses a technique called trompe l'oeil, which is a French phrase that means tricks the eye. What do you see in this picture that tricks your eye? Do you see all those shadows? The shadow of the sword, the shadow of the tassels, the shadow of the canteen towards the bottom, especially the tip of the sword to, to the bottom left. It looks so real. He also paints everything with great detail. If you have time, your teacher can zoom in on this painting to show you just how detailed it is. So this was pretty early on, before photography became available in general to the public. And even when it was available, it was black and white. So if you really wanted to document something, you had to hire an artist to paint it for you. And some of them were extremely skilled in making things look real. Is this a portrait? What do you think is the definition of a portrait? Does an image of the person have to be in a portrait in order for it to truly be a portrait? A loose definition of a portrait is a representation of a person. How does this painting function as a portrait of Major Macaulay? So now it's your turn. What would you include in a portrait of yourself? Think of some things that could symbolize you, some things that could represent you. Think of things that make you proud. Make a list of some of these things and then try to develop symbols for them. Then use all these symbols to sketch a few examples of your portrait. Are you able to do it? Can you make a representation of yourself? Good luck. Remember that you don't have to have your face in there. Have fun.